Women out here thinking they probably didn't make one dude with some money. They probably dated five broke dudes before that and meet one dude with some money and he ain't do nothing for but took a, the STK one time. So now they thinking every man they meet got to be a millionaire. So now they bragging about the millionaire that they had for two weeks. So now they think every man that's the standard now. So it, do you feel like that's that's that um packs into the delusion factor thinking you gonna every man you gonna meet is gonna be on that same financial level? I don't understand that concept at all, and I don't even think women understand. If you do get a man with a whole bunch of money, because everybody want this unicorn unicorn man, this six foot rich dude and I don't think women understand you know how many other women are also looking for that same man mm. so to expect that you can certainly get that but I don't even think a woman would understand how to how to keep that kind of man because that kind of man don't need you mm. and to think you got a magical coochie cat is not going to keep that man with money because there are women that are just trying to throw it at him all the time so I don't, I don't know where that's coming from I don't, I don't understand it it never made any sense to me because it takes a if you got a man that is that is on a purpose and he's able to provide that way, women don't even shut up enough to stay with that type of man mm. and then wonder why he's cheating on a woman who's not attractive as you or less than you. It, we're in a crazy, crazy delusion. Mm. To answer this for me before we start this show, why are most of the women now that have become like relationship gurus since the pandemic? <laughs> They always on social media telling you what a man, what a real man is, uh, what a real man do, what he don't, how he's supposed to do this, how he's supposed to do that. Why are these women never in a relationship, a healthy relationship? Let me say healthy in front of that. They never married. They don't even have a boyfriend. They don't even have a pen pal. <laughs> Not even nigga. They ain't even got a nigga in jail that they can write and send an email to. Why is that, Miss Amanda P.? Because the man that they saying that this perfect man, he don't exist. Don't exist. He's not real. He's mm. a unicorn. He, he's not there. So they search. That's why they single. You searching for something that don't exist. You never gonna find that ever. It's not real. It's not a real thing. Wow. I know you didn't hear that, but I just dropped the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> she just dropped the bomb on you guys. She said it, not me. She know y'all know she's one of my favorite. But with that, on that note, let's start this show, man. Check runners. Check runners. Hey man, welcome, welcome, welcome. To a brand new episode of the biggest podcast in the world, Check Runners Podcast, baby. Check, Check Runners. I am your favorite cousin at the cookout, Rico Ramirez. And if you can't tell by now, I'm country than a bowl of grits. And I love this bag. Before I go any further, let me give a quick shout out to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be no me, man. And, with, and on that note, let me give a quick shout out to everybody watching on YouTube, listening on Spotify, Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all that good stuff. Without y'all, there would be no us, man. And right now, let me introduce y'all to the Queen of Queens, man. One of my dogs. I don't care if it's four o'clock in the morning. She broke down on the side of the road. I'm waking <laughs> up and going to get my dog. You know when little baby said, that my dog, uh, and that my dog. That's my dog, man. Miss Mando P. How you doing, Queen? I'm good. I am good. Hey, man. You been really making some noise out here, and I am so proud of you, Thank man. You. Thank you, you. You been, like, moving and shaking. Everywhere that I turn on my phone, you are there in some capacity. That's cool. I like that. You know, <laughs> you're at the skills on point. 
you doing your thug thing, man. So I want to just give you flowers right now because I like your whole trajectory, man, and where you're going. And you blessing, you anointed queen. So for me to you, keep doing what you doing, man. Thank you. Hey, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Go hit that subscribe button and every single day, more videos like this will be uploaded. Hey, thank you again. Hey.